With Turkish elections in the rearview mirror, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has shifted his focus back to foreign policy. Fresh off the back of a successful NATO summit, President Erdogan is set to embark on a three-day tour of the Gulf. This three-country trip will feature stops in Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Qatar. After a near decade-long freeze in relations with Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, the past two years have witnessed a rapprochement between Turkey and both influential Gulf states. Now the Turkish president will be looking to advance warming ties and take these two bilateral relationships to the next level. As Turkey, we attach great importance to the peace and well-being of the entire Gulf region, including Qatar. We never want to see tension and conflict in these lands. We wish that this geography, which has a great potential both in terms of underground resources and in terms of trade, comes to the fore with solidarity and strengthens its development in every field. Regardless of their origins, sex or dispositions, all the peoples of the Gulf are our true brothers. With this understanding, we are trying to advance our cooperation with the Gulf countries on the basis of mutual interest and respect. During the presidential visits, leaders are expected to discuss a wide spectrum of bilateral topics. Economic and trade interests will be high on the agenda as President Erdogan seeks to reinvigorate the Turkish economy with foreign investments and increased bilateral trade. Defense and security issues are also expected to be discussed as Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates have been keen on acquiring Turkish-made defense products. President Erdogan will also be visiting Qatar as part of his regional tour. Back in 2017, when neighboring countries tried to confine Qatar with a blockade, it was Turkish support that helped the tiny Gulf state overcome isolation. Since then, Turkey and Qatar have become very close allies. In Doha, Erdogan will seek to build on the relationship by furthering economic, geopolitical, and defense cooperation between both countries. Turkey's influence and seat at the table on many key regional issues will be a critical part of talks as Gulf leaders and the Turkish president will likely explore areas of cooperation to bring stability and advance peace in conflict zones like Libya, Yemen, and Syria. Three days, three countries, and many bilateral agreements. That's the expectation from this important regional tour. While trade and economy will top the agenda, these leaders will be talking about more than just dollars and cents. Can regional cooperation bring an elusive peace to the neighborhood's hotspots? That's a coveted outcome that will be explored behind closed doors. Yusuf Aram, TRT World.